In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today the church celebrates the feast of the presentation of our blessed Lord in the temple. This memory dates back to the redemption of Israelites from the Egypt. The last of the signs that the Almighty Lord worked, the killing of the firstborn of the Egyptian, as instructed through Moses, they were supposed to apply the blood of the goat to the lintel of the door. And if the angel of the Lord found the blood on the door of the house, he would not bring any danger to that house. However, the firstborn of the Pharaoh and the Egyptians were killed because they hardened their hearts in listening to the Lord. In order in memory of this, every firstborn of the Egyptian, whether son or daughter, was redeemed, was to be redeemed by the Lord because it was of the Lord. Therefore, according to the economic status, people were prescribed to offer sacrifice in place of that firstborn and then receive that firstborn as the gift from the Lord. Therefore, Joseph and Mary brings Jesus to offer in the temple and in the place of Jesus they offer two turtle doves which means the economic status of the Holy Family was very low, poorest of the poor perhaps. That's why they offer the two turtle doves. Of all the sacrifices that was offered in the temple, but of the day Jesus entered in the hands of Mary and Joseph, that would be the perfect sacrifice. The sacrifice which he would offer on the cross into the hands of the Eternal Father, the same sacrifice, an introduction of that is what we celebrate today when Jesus was presented in the temple. On that day on the cross, at the foot of the cross will be Blessed Mother alone. But today, in the presence of Fortune Father Joseph, Blessed Mother and Jesus, they enter the temple. And at this instance, we see the prophet Simeon and Anna speaking about Jesus. How Jesus is a sign of contradiction. How he will be responsible for the rise and fall of many in Israel. And how the sword of sorrow will also pierce the heart of the Blessed Mother. My dear friends, in the book The Power of Now, the author writes that your purpose here on earth is to help to unfold the divine purpose of the universe. Each one of us, in our own way of life that we have chosen in our work, we have got a noble cause to accomplish. And that is what we need to discern and discover. Jesus offering in the temple, he did it every day of his life. On the day of his baptism, every morning when it was dark, the Lord was praying in the temple alone in a lonely place, in the garden of Gethsemane, and above all, on the cross, the Lord offered continual offering to the Father, a life of continual open to the Father. When people came to him with their difficulties, pain, Jesus took their pain and he was fully present and he was fully open to the will of the Father which was unfolding to him through them. Therefore, he was fully present and he was fully alive and helping people to receive the love and compassion of the Father. And that was the great mission of Jesus. Therefore, in each one of our lives, in the way of life that we have chosen, the Lord invites us to be partners in his mission of building a kingdom of presence, a kingdom of love, mercy and compassion, a kingdom of unity, fellowship and peace. And that is the greatest mission each one of us can accomplish. And we can accomplish by radically being open to the Father, just as Jesus, by radically following the will of the Father unfolding to us in every aspect of our life, whether in our workplace, in our studies or in the life that we have chosen, in being open to the invitation of the Father to enhance life, to be life givers, to, to light the lamp in darkness. And that is the message of today's feast. Let us pray for the grace that like our Lord Jesus, we each one of us 
may offer ourselves, our life, to small acts of kindness or help, to small acts of love and generosity, that we may usher in the kingdom of freedom, fellowship and peace to our lives. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.